Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Blood Moon. Alright, just wanted to check uh, my recording. Ah uh, yes, the grief that I chugged. Uh, is that our man? I'm disappointed you can't stand on those. Doesn't look like it. Hey, seriously. Go to hell. Oh, and the bear's getting involved, too. What the hell is that? Oh, is that one of those pillars that I uh, didn't activate? Honestly, why would the why would everything on this island gang up on me? Like, I understand that a bear might want to just, you know, a single gold piece right now. I understand that a bear could conceivably want to, you know, kill a human, you know, if it sees it. Um But why would the I mean, I know that I'm not technically human, but you know. Sapien species. Like, why would the bear gang up on me with another human? We'll have no dealings with the likes of you. Be gone. Oh, yeah? What if I come in here and take this? Wow, that thing looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> Yoink. Uh huh. All right, where the hell am I going? Lake Fielding. Oh, apparently the directions are deceiving, as uh, Rolf is far west of the western shore. So you want? Okay, so if I head south from here, I might be okay. Well, thanks for that. What enemies? Those guys? Oh, you. Where's my axe skill at? Mediocre as hell. Hindsight, you know? Still? Who are you guys then? Uh, you're part of the Restra. Oh, here we go. Oh, you're ugly. Come back at night. I'm trying to make it night, dog. Don't worry, guys. I got this one. No need to help me. Jesus, you people. Why do these people just say shit like this? 20 hour nap? What's the time? 9 in the morning, huh? Well, ain't that just peachy keen? Let's uh, drop an 8 hour sleep here. Okay, maybe it's 6? Well, if it's not at 6, then it surely wouldn't be at 7. Oh, come on, it's 8 at night. Dude, the one making you wait is right here. Greetings, Galena Pitchblend. Of course, one wind eyes told me yada yada. In the restog, we hunt the spirit bear uh, conjured by the totem of Clon Fang. When it's slain, we return its heart to wind eye. We'll ask for blessings. If it fails or does not succeed, the all makers displeased. You help ensure our success. Act as my second. Stay with me through all times and follow my instructions. 
you've proven your value, but you must allow me to guide you through this. Okay. Quick save. You're a long way from civilization. We must hunt carefully and quietly. Hear that? Came from Satyr the Bold Path. Go to him. Make sure he is well. Return to me so we can complete the hunt. And then somebody says growl. Uh-oh. Well, uh, bad news. Satyr is dead. Bad omen. Creatures are dark spirits and they'll try to disrupt the hunt. The loss of Satyr is dead, but we must continue. Let us go. Axe Wife. That's a great name, to be perfectly honest with you. It reminds me of the Wife Axe. Which is variously the axe that used to belong to Kratos' wife in God of War 4. Huh? Some action? Or the wife that belongs... The axe that belongs to my wife in the real world. You know, I was just thinking, if this was a quest in Skyrim, there would be like 30 more f enemies we'd have to fight here. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, yeah, what could have possibly happened? Here, I'll leave this with you. Does this look cooler? No. Well, uh, bad news, pal. Axe-wife is dead? No, she was a good warrior and friend. Well, won't this stop us? We, too, will continue till the restock is complete. Uh, yep. Is there, like, a shortcut we can take here? Wolf, fuck, or whatever your name is? Longtooth. My lovely wife is discording me. In case you're wondering what my little womp womps are. <gasps> Ooh, a thing. Hey, I got a level. It's been like days or hours since I've had one of those. 45. Uh, I'll pop intelligence, luck, and... Look at personality. Feed of those creatures and honor the comrades. We must find the spirit bear and return the heart to Windai. Lead the way. Great. Nothing would make me more happy than to skip ahead here in this stupid quest. Man, level 45, huh? So, is the max level 50? I guess it must be. Or maybe not. 10, so that would be one level. 19. Oh, I shouldn't do this now. One moment. So, um, just talk to my wife and check the news. New Skyrim. Not the original... <laughs> like new Skyrim that I was talking about earlier where there there's going to be like another big are you the spirit bear plague bear what the hell but yeah not the original new Skyrim edition which I want to say is called like legendary or some shit I don't remember honestly no there's a new new one Skyrim uh, <laughs> Skyrim. Skyrim board game. 
You know, Skyrim Tabletop. It's now being ported to tables. As though there wasn't enough... What the hell are you guys? Smuggler. Ooh, an Ebony Mace. Lord knows I like Ebony Maces. Let me get that going, shall I? Are you the bear? No, just a plague bear. What the hell is a plague bear? I thought the plague was over. I will bathe in your blood. Oh, careful. I don't know if this is a new thing for you, but uh, I would avoid like charging out in front of me while I'm swinging my thing. You know? Oh, you. Yeah. Defeated. Restrung. Is there like a map I can get here? Where's the spirit bear? Not seen the mention of a barrow or anything. Maybe I've gone too south. I'll head north. Man, I will say it's gonna be weird to like start a uh, Elder Scrolls from like total scratch. And, like that'll be a while out. Like I have already played. Where am, have I played like 50 episodes of Morrowind? I think I have. I think 50 might even be lowballing it. What the hell happened up here? Wow. One thing that is great about Bethesda and like maybe even better than uh, the original Fallout guys. Bethesda is fantastic about environmental storytelling. Airship. What? Roberto Jadoin, Commander Beauchamp Expedition. Today's the day. Beauchamp's airship is sturdy enough and the crew is ready to set sail. Travel north and northwest until we reach Solstheim. The Hrothman Bane Wolf Formation is somewhere where the Mosering Mountains. Bear was set to explore at the Wolf's Eye. Get the magic item and be back to the Guild of Mages in a few days. Entry 4. Damn conjurer, sorcerers, inventors, scientists, and all... They are academic ilk. Is that the right there? Beauchamp promised me this airship would hold. Promised me it could be sailed like a seabound craft. All lies. It's barely holding together. We've been trailing bits and pieces since we left Aldrin. Just an hour ago, we lost one of the dormer cogs of the main engine. If this were a frigate or a sloop, I'd be holding her together fine. But trying to control an airship is like setting to sea in a barrel with a spoon for an oar. Land ho! Normal for a crew member to get edgy, but the Argonian finally went berserk. I told him repeatedly before we left Aldrin that an airship sails in the sky, not in the water. Told me he understood, but his fear of fights must have finally taken sway, and a frenzied state he grabbed the wheel and almost forced us to the sea. I had no choice but to run him through. Swims and Swells was his name. God. And a good crew member he was before this accident. I would have preferred a burial at sea, but considering our current situation, we had no choice but to toss the body overboard. We aim for the ocean, but that... <laughs> By that time, the airship had drifted over Sol's time. Alas, I fear we missed, and his corpse landed somewhere on the southeastern shore. We found Hrothman's Bane. Beauchamp was right about something. Wolf Formation runs east to west with the eye, with the head and eye towards the east end. Look for a place to set down and explore the barrow, assuming that, it, assuming that is where Beauchamp said it would be. I note that we're going slower than I'd like. There's a chill in the air. Don't trust the dark clouds. We've been sailed by a blizzard, the likes of which I've never seen. I feared a storm, but... Uh, never could have imagined anything like this. The contraption's coming part of the seams. Don't think we can hold our altitude. Nowhere to land, but land we must. Dead. All of them dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. Most of the crew were killed instantly. No E. When the airship went down. The few that made it, no capitalization. The few that made it soon succumbed to the cold. 
succumbed. I alone survived. No need to make a camp. Snow is bloking my way into the ship's hold. I go to the barrow in the morning. I can hardly root. My hands are nearly freezing. So cold, so cold, uh, so hungry. Madness talking, taking me, I can feel it. I see eyes, night eyes, wolf eyes. Hear them so hungry. Eye of wolf coming, white wolf so cold. You will die where you stand. Are you the bear? It's a pretty tough bear. Oh, cool. That was it. Heart of the Spirit Bear. Hell yeah. Cool. I want to poke around this thing. So I guess I was right to head north. Unless it's just on a timer and it just like spawns at some point. Ooh, Sir Deke Brandy. Uh, should return to the wind eye. Yes, I should. Skull Village, here we come. Pop a little rusty brew there. And then let's uh, beat a trail, huh? Good old Mose Ring Mountains. Oh, yeah, I should pick that journal up as well. One pound won't do me too much uh, trouble. I want to avoid those guys. So apparently the level multiplication is such that, like, this DLC can be easier if you come here at lower levels. So maybe it would have been good to do this one first. Maybe it would have been good to do this one before even finishing the main quest, you know. At first, the uh, grammatical errors in that guy's note were just, you know, me making fun of it, but it is cool. I do like survival horror notes. Like, I know that this is not a survival horror game. But, like, is that not the vibe? Like, a note written by someone dying will always, to me... Have you got this? I hope you've got this. Saved your life, dumbass. You're welcome. A note written by a dying man, to me, will always, always, always be a survival horror note, you know? And, like, not all of them are, of course. But, like, Resident Evil is the king of that in terms of video games. And, uh... What's his name? The racist? H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, H.P. Lovecraft is probably the king of that for, like, just regular writing. Um, though some of them are kind of stupid. You know, it's kind of a shame that H.P. Lovecraft died when he did. Like, I know that, like, he was born in... I think he might have been born in the 1800s. He was born a very long time ago. Because, um, like, obviously his racism is sort of a product of his time, but, like, the man was exceptionally prejudiced. And not just uh, for things like race. It's for a lot of things. And some of them could easily be conflated or confused or combined with race, like country of origin or general amount of money made, considering that he lived in the States. 
I can't help you. Got healed elsewhere. I'm just coming up to say hi. But apparently towards the end of Lovecraft's life, like, he was starting to become less racist, and then he died. Maybe it was like a Prince Zuko thing, where, like, he was just living his normal life, and then, like, he had a, uh, he had a, 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 a crisis of self, and that's what killed him, you know? Anyway. Uh, you have the heart. You've done well. The skull have come to expect of you. Your efforts are not unappreciated. Let me teach you more of the magic. The ritual I teach you will allow you to summon a bear. You've earned this blood skull. Now I fear you must speak of the ominous signs. There have been many. Coming of the werewolves. Fire on the lake. Oh, yeah, that thing. I'm told in the northern shores of the scenes of the massacre. Many horkers are dead. Sores are of the corpses, and the death of the horkers has not been explained. All things are suggested in the blood moon prophecy. Find out what's been happened. Sign of prophecy? Perhaps not. Perfect to think of this as the worker mortals. I would have you go to Castle Karstag. I have no desire to speak loudly of this ancient legend. Who knows what the ancestors learned about the coming of the blood moon? Let us watch and wait, and the Allmaker protect us. Uh, castle Karstag is a castle made of ice on the northwest part of Solstheim. There lives the frost giant Karstag. Skull lived in peace with the monster for many years, but we have heard nothing of the giant for some time. The slaughter could be the, wor uh, the work of the Reiklings who serve him. Go there and find out what you can. You won't be allowed in the main entrance, but we have discovered an entrance in the waters north of the castle. Good luck, Bloodskull. So, um, frost giants, when they appear here in Morrowind, make no sense. Because it's like, well, what the fuck is a frost giant? We don't even have a regular giant. What the hell is a frost giant supposed to be? Will you fall over? Jeez, oh, Pete. Uh, are you going to be, like, coming with me? Because, like, I don't know about that, man. Northwest. So, like, here? But, yeah, like, we don't know what a regular giant is, much less a frost giant. And then in Skyrim, there are giants, and we get to see what their deal is. They, you know, they live there. They're just like native creatures. They just hang out and live here in Skyrim. And then in the Dawnguard DLC, there are specifically frost giants. Like, frozen versions of normal giants. And like, I say that, but what it really means is that they have horns and a higher frost resistance. And like, giants in Skyrim already live in frosty areas. So I guess those dudes are like double frost, but whatever. Come on, fall over. Oh, these are Reavers. Yeah. This is too easy. I recognize these guys from uh, the DLC. Though I think they are, that there's mostly like Dunmer Reavers in. Cool. Now let's see here. Oh, wait. Was that it? Castle Karstag. There he is. But in the Dawnguard DLC, you see frost giants. Which are just, you know, giants that are magically linked to frost. Uh, and they look more like Karstag than the regular giants do. And then in the Blood Moon, or in the um, Dragonborn DLC, you fight and kill the ghost of Karstag if you want. It's a side quest to do so, but you can do it. For the love of... Will you fall over? Why is my frame rate chugging? I will in your blood. But 
yeah, it's kind of interesting, the circuitous path. Frost giants show up here and have no explanation and don't make any sense. And then regular giants show up. Uh, you know, as opposed to frost giants. I think I've got a, uh, drinky. Certainly do. Regular giants show up as, a fo as opposed to frost giants. And then we can see frost giants and compare them directly to regular giants. And then we see that Karstag was just a badass frost giant. Is it the snow? Because particle effects will, like, very often just make a game shit itself. Alright, fall over. Come on. Thank you. Let's see if I can't, like, sideswipe these guys. Because, like, I could kill them. Oh, this looks like it. Ben Kongeritie. Ben Kongerikte. Garike? A lot of those classic, like, Nordic uh, chill places are, like, really really hard to pronounce so how's everyone doing because I'm just wandering around here oh I hear uh, well strictly speaking I think it's one of the imps from doom Castle Karstag. Let me see here. Course one eye. Travel west. Encounter Krish. Hopefully that uh nope, regular reading. Cool. Somehow I sense that I'm in the wrong place. Maybe um, you know, little knee jerk but no stop don't cast spells quit it It's almost never worth it for me to actually pick chests as well. Because, like, I already have amazing gear. And, like, I have enough amazing gear that I can literally throw, like, fantastic gear away and put on, like, new stuff. And even if I didn't have amazing gear, I have the levels to let me, like... I have levels to let me equip and use crap gear. Like, this is an ebony mace, yeah, but it's unenchanted. You'd think I would need, you know, an enchanted one, but... Oh, this is a circle. That's irritating. Oh, I'm getting so lost down here. I 
Anyway, point of order. I don't really need to buy or sell anything, so I don't need money. I could buy more levels, but I don't really need them, considering I am already prodigious in strength. Um, I don't need better gear, and like, my character's kind of perfect. Like, I could drop everything except for, like, probably True Flame, because I like True Flame. True Flame might be my favorite, like, sword in this whole game. Like, I love the lore of it. I love the history. I love that it's a huge, like, fuck-off scimitar. I love that it's made of gold. I like the light effect, even though it looks like crap. And, like, it just feels so right in my hand. Probably because it's my sword, you know? Like, it, it's a sword that was made for me, broken after my betrayal and death, and then when I reincarnated, remade for me. Like, the fact that I died and the sword was broken, and then when I reincarnated, I fixed the sword, is, like, so cool. Like, I died, but I reincarnated. You know, I died, but I got better. And my sword did, too. Like, that's a really underappreciated thing. Are there that many games where you're, like, the reincarnation of someone? Like, there's almost definitely a JRPG or two about it. Yeah, that makes sense. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill all these guys. Oh, by the way, I went cutting wood again. I'm working on the same tree, I'm just cutting it through another segment. With the help of my wife, I was able to, for those who don't know, um... Woodcutting isn't actually a skill in this game. It's something that you can do in Skyrim. Oh, son of a... My shield broke. That's irritating. Anyway, partially inspired by um, the start of this LP, which was now half a year ago. More so, in fact. More than half a year ago was the start of this LP. But the original idea was... I was going to do everything that my character did. And I recorded, like, probably two episodes worth of stuff, but I only edited one episode because editing is really hard and annoying. Especially because I don't have particularly good... Oh, is what's-his-name dead? That's annoying. I don't have particularly good editing software. I have stuff that's free. Where is this guy? Encounter the Reichling named Krish. Oh, it's underwater. Cool. Well, that would explain why I couldn't find it. Okay, getting out to sea and seeing just like 
the the hundreds of tiles of just drag and drop. Like easy place. That water looks good. Easy placed, um Oh, you can even see the rain. Or I guess it's not rain, but whatever. Yeah, seeing all the, the land tiles down here it looks kinda crap. But that's okay. Anyway, so partially inspired from my um, quest to do everything that my Morrowind character does, which is why this character has no magic, because I cannot cast it. Um, in the real world, of course. But partially inspired by that, and partially as a continuation of that, I went woodcutting, just to compare like how strong Minecraft Steve is. Because Minecraft Steve is kind of nuts. And I just, you know, check to see how fast it is to go cut wood by getting an axe and cutting some wood like an actual tree um and again if you haven't seen the original video go watch it it's very good and i'm proud of it but um for those of you who didn't pause it right away the video in question i go to work on a down tree um it's something that got knocked down in a storm uh and the tree is dead and in fact uh in half so I'm not just attacking a uh, perfectly healthy tree. Because that's not really my code. I also could get in legal trouble for that, but, you know. Um, so with the help of my wife, I was able to get through uh, that one stubborn piece of log. Which is cool and I think is very emblematic of my wife because she's strong as hell. I kind of am getting the sense that I'm going the wrong way, but I'll go a little bit further. Oh, an item. A book. Rogue Necromancer's Journal. Whatever. How is this chugging, guys, really? So yeah, um, I cut some more wood. It was it was fun. All right, I'm gonna find out where the hell Krish is. Or maybe Karstag. Front door and the water route. So where's the secret entrance? Oh, it's directly north of it. Son of a bitch. Should have known. Well, good thing that I murdered all those Reichlings. It's so weird that those are like honest to God goblins. You know? Like, Elder Scrolls is known for being, uh, having some interesting mix-up. Like, dwarves are tall and are elves. Orcs are also elves. You know, interesting mix-ups to extant fantasy lore. Instead of just, you know, ripping off Tolkien. Because, like, time honor tradition I know, but, like, lots of people have just gotten their fantasy lore across by ripping off Tolkien. Like... The Forgotten Realms, Greyhawk, Sharana, even like Ar Aragon's a big one. Even some of Dark Souls uses it. Is it this thing? Son of a. Oh, wow, there's no air. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hard to do this. I guess it's fun that I'm doing the... Because uh, Morrowind is a very hot area. But it's kind of fun that I'm uh, doing the... Whoa, a Dark Elf. Ugly thing, aren't you? Too tall. Business you got on Castle Karstag. Make it quick. No time to talk. 
Dead horkers, rancid horker meat. Mmm. You're asking me the wrong guy. I know someone might be able to help and got my own problems. Master, car stag that is, has taken off. Gone, don't know why. Don't know where. Didn't seem like he was coming back. So some of the boys and I figured we'd take over. Dulk has been running the place. Upstairs. Moron. Toady, master's pet. Right, sneak attack from below. Very clever. Made me deal with a pack of growl to act as muscle. Didn't work out so well. Growl aren't trustworthy. Turn on my guys. Ate them, actually. I'm the only one left. Can't get upstairs. And neither can you. So no one can enter the castle without the mass car stag's blessing. Which I have. I figure you help me get past the crawl and get you into the castle. Then ask Dulk anything you want. So, come on, move it. Sure, whatever. It is kind of fun that I'm doing the, um... Oh, boy. You're a... Have I killed one of these things? I don't think I've seen one of these. Deadly Grawl. I think I did, but it was in that quest line that I, like... I think it was that quest where, like, everything was dark. That I, I mentioned, like, wanting to skip. Wow, you weren't kidding when you were, like... Hey, so these things are uh, pretty dangerous, and uh, they're all really big. They're, uh, they're, yeah, you were not kidding, my mans. Hey, man, what's going on? They totally just, like, sit down when you kill them, by the way. <laughs> Get upstairs, help me out. All of them must be about eight. You son of a gun. Well, at least I can heal. Oh, yeah, I love jumping in this stupid game. All right, so I've killed like what three of these I don't want to jump down there because I don't know if I can get back up whatever See, it's fun that I'm doing the particularly cold uh, Morrowind quest line one hit Wow must have been like a crit or something I guess the cold Morrowind quest line in the cold season because it's winter now. Because we're now a couple of days into... Uh... Oh, I've got five. Okay, cool. So my count was correct. What's this thing do best? Slash, right? Yeah, slash is 45 to 60. But the chop goes as high as 75. So that's just two more, I think. Journal updated. You. Where's my save? Okay. I'll do the, uh, you know what? I'll do this off camera. We'll come back. Um, and, and the next episode can be Castle Karstag. But uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Blood Moon. Thank you all for coming. I'm having a good time recording uh, Morrowind again. I'm very happy about that. So uh, see you guys later. Bye.